Welcome back! And if you're new to this channel, I'm Christina. I'm a BIM specialist who focuses on helping businesses with Revit training and integrating optimized BIM workflows that can help you get the best of the software fast. Today we are continuing with our journey through Revit API. And if you've ever created your own Revit template, you probably know that one of the most time consuming aspects to it is creating your own wall types and you are definitely going to be at an advantage if you know how to automate this process. So let's move over to the laptop. Our task for today will be to duplicate an existing wall type and add a new layer to its structure. Of course, we're not going to be able to achieve that by using only one class. In fact, we are going to use the wall type class to duplicate an existing wall type in our document. We're going to go through the compound structure class to extract the layers of this wall type and store them in a list. And we're going to use the compound structure layer to construct a new layer and later on add it to the list of layers for our new wall type. All right, so we are going to start uh, with our new wall type. Create a new wall type. Actually, I'm going to duplicate an existing one in our project. What I'm going to do is create a new filter element collector for this document. I am going to get all the elements of category, built-in category walls. where these elements are element types. And I am going to get the first element of this list and define it as a wall type. <clears throat> All right, so we already have an existing wall type. To duplicate it, we have to use the duplicate uh, method for a wall type. However, we should always do that in a transaction. You might already remember that uh, any change in your Revit document should be encapsulated in a transaction. Wall type. New, new wall. Duplicate. And here we should define a new name for the new type. Now that we are ready with our new wall type, it's time to get its underlying compound structure or its underlying list of layers. All right, it's time to get the compound structure of our new wall type.
To do so, use the get compound structure method. And now that we have our compound structure, we can access the list of compound structure layers we need to change to modify our wall type. So we are going to define a list. of compound structure layers called layers. And to get that list, we are just going to use the get layers method. Now that we have this list, we can easily add a new layer to it. by using the add method. To create our new layer, we are going to use the compound structure layer constructor. I want my layer to be five centimeters wide. Its material function should be finish. And I will have to and I will have to put in the ID of the material that I want to use. I will define an element ID. All right, and the only thing we need to do is first reset the layers of our compound structure. Once we have reset the layers to our compound structure, we have to reset the com compound structure of our new type. By the way, the material I used is brick and it's time to test out our app. Our new type is already in the document. And as you can see, we have a five centimeter layer of brick added to it. Thanks for making it till the end of this video. And if you are looking for more tips like that, make sure to like and subscribe.